it had a good childhood up until uh, when I was about, I guess, 10. I think I was about 10. It was 2006 when my parents separated. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, at the time, <laughs> like at the time, it was uh, like it was really hard at the time. Like I remember the dinner table conversation when uh, it, it happened and we were all in tears and both my like everyone was crying and then like it's like a week later um it almost felt kind of edgy because divorce had become so common you know like it, it just it became something so common you know i think it's like i don't know what it was i remember reading a stat somewhere that was like a third of all families or something like that and so it stopped bothering me for a while. How old were you? I think I was about 10. Okay. Uh, 10 or 11. What did you have a sense of why? Like why they split up? Yeah. Uh, at the time, no. Okay. I had no idea. Yeah. I didn't get it. So it was, it was just, it was just something that was just bang out of the, you know, where did this come from? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, basically. I think uh, that's how it is for a lot of kids because of course the parent the, as a kid you can only look at so much and you know parents of course as an adult you can see so much more. So yeah. yeah. Well, it's not until years later too. Yeah. Because the huge thing is the financial thing. Cuz then yeah. you have like, the split income. Yeah. And then like so it was the the, the financial situation like it, it's later on when you realize all the consequences. But at the time, like, you know, even in high school, when I was a teenager, like I was really indifferent to it. Mm -hmm. And um, I remember I had this one friend and he, he used to talk about how much he wished his parents divorced. And he'd tell us like. He, you know, he knows why that, that, that he, you know, he, he'd give like, uh, whatever he'd say prior that I know it sounds kind of messed up, but kind of wish they got divorced, you know, and, uh, and what did you think when he'd say that? I thought he just wanted it so he could get away with smoking weed. <laughs> 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 Not getting by his parents. Like that was a huge part of it. And, you know, like when I was, because you you get away with that stuff more easily because oh. you know if you, eventually when i was in uh you know when i was 16 uh me and my dad so i moved me and my dad moved out my mom like they it was kind of a weird situation they, they weren't living together but for a little while they were like after uh like immediately after the divorce my mom didn't have a place to stay blah 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 and like but uh <clears throat> at the time the move was nice because the, the house we were living in was way smaller and it was like, a, it was a bungalow, you know, it was kind of like the sort of lower blue collar house. And, but it was right by the mall where all the kids hung out and uh, it was really close to a lot of my other friends. So like it was a move at the time that actually worked out really pretty well. And like, I got a basement, I had my room in the basement, which I loved you know, because as a teenager, you like it, and then you grow up, and it's like, why well, <laughs> you're just stuck in basements all the time, you know, because yeah. that's just like your, your uh, I don't know, that's just how it worked out for me. Yeah. You know, I was always living in basements, even now I'm living in a basement, but yeah. Um, so, and um, so did it impact your how you did in school? The the separation. Yeah. Honestly, I, I most of most of I think that I don't know. Like, I I always had a problem with gaming addiction. Mm -hmm. One of the things that happened. So one of the things that happened uh, after my parents' separation was that they went really easy on us. Yeah. Because they felt guilty, right? And so uh, they, uh, you know, like I was allowed to eat cinnamon buns for breakfast. <laughs> You know, and at the time I was kind of like, huh, why is, why is mom doing this for me? Like, this is weird. And, um, and so, 
you know, I got really into gaming, like MMOs, which are, you know, easily the most time consuming kind of games. And for elementary, that hurt my schooling a lot. Like, it's kind of strange because it consumes memories too. Like it consumes, like, I don't, like grade seven, I was really addicted to a World of Warcraft. And so uh, grade seven is just like a blur to me because of that. Because all my time was just spent playing this game. And, you know, it, that that addiction would come to haunt me back later. Because mm. there were these things called private servers. And it was like old school World of Warcraft servers, like unlicensed Blizzard servers that would be hosted by, I don't know, like, you know, whatever, some European guys. And then you'd play those and... Uh, you know, and it, it was just kind of a rush because the game was so addicting and it was like a version of the game you hadn't played in, in so many years. So. Um, so you had nostalgia included, you know, sort of on top of the just addictive nature of the game itself. Yeah. Yeah. Big time. <laughs> yeah. So how many years, I mean, so did you play, do you still play or did you play all the way through high school? And what, what did that do to your life in high school? Well, I wasn't playing any MMOs. I stopped, like WoW got boring by, uh, mm -hmm. so grade seven, 2008 comes along. I mean, I'm going into grade eight and they come out with a new expansion and my parents were just sick of my addiction. They didn't want to pay for the game anymore. And like, I was bored. You know, the game got boring, like end game, because you're just kind of stuck at the max level and it's just this chore like grind. And um, so in grade eight, uh, I had a good friend group. You know, I had a couple of really close friends and we always hung out. We did a bunch of different stuff together. And then so at that time, like I, I didn't have a problem with gaming until I got a PlayStation 3 in grade nine for christmas and that was you know like my first game console and so it was kind of a surreal moment because you know everyone i knew had a game console and i didn't and so when i finally got one it was just like holy crap like i'm playing a you know i have a playstation 3 in my own home like it was you know and then that really consumed up a lot of my time in grade nine, but it wasn't the same addiction. Like those games aren't as, they're not as addicting individually, certainly not because there's so much, you know, they're just like single player campaigns and multiplayer games. Like, it's not like, you know, this full scale, massive world MMO kind of thing. Right. Uh, but grade nine was also when I started smoking pot. So that's when I started getting into, you know, stoner habits. And then that, that was all throughout high school. 